Hello everyone and welcome to the last part of this Attic Nister feature special that we are producing for the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization group. So I've shown you now how to build the deck, why we've made the decisions for all the cards that are in the deck and I've also shown you all the combos so you can essentially take this uh, concept all the way from rookie all the way up to platinum one in a very short amount of time. So you've got all the tools available to you except what you might be questioning is how do I craft this deck? How do I that's all very well, you've shown, this, this, shown me all these amazing cards and combos, but now how do I actually get the deck? So, I want to give you guys just a quick uh, overview. I imagine if you're more of a veteran player, you can go ahead and skip this, but maybe you're more a little entry or you're looking for the most efficient way. And so in which case, this is the video for you. So, key thing to note, whenever you are spending your crystals, your ultra rare, super rare uh, crystals, you want to primarily focus on cards who only which only appear in the the master pack essentially the master pack is such a huge set you're very unlikely to get the cards that you want in order to craft your deck uh, the good thing with the lightning storm specifically is there is a bundle which gives you uh, 10 packs for like 750 and you get the lightning storm you absolutely should buy that uh, when crafting this deck and the cards that you want to focus on crafting are the generic cards that aren't the Mr. cards. You may end up being forced to a little bit later if you run out of gems, but for the most part, the cards you want to be crafting are your Drone Lockbirds, your Max C. Uh, you also want to be making sure that you get yourself a Harpy Sever Duster, three Pots of Desires, three Lightning Storms, and three Infinite Impermanence. The rest of the stuff can be pulled out of largely the same set, which is the secret pack AI Omni Science, and then you can put all of your gems a lot of your gems into that and you should open most of these cards that you need to craft today you'll open all the rares and commons and you'll have enough rare crystals to easily craft the stuff the kaijus that you're going to need as well and you should you'll pick up all of the colors that you need and then you're also going to be picking up uh, a lot of the extra deck that appears in that set it's a couple of cards that don't appear in AI Omni Science. for example soldiers of the storm is where you get access code talker so you'll switch over to that once you've got the core of your deck and that's kind of the way you want to do it you're you're crafting crystals primarily you want to save them and you want to use them last essentially uh to just get all of the generic cards that you need for the deck if you spend those crystals first crafting stuff that you get uh from these packs you are reducing the chances you're going to be able to get these staples. And the key thing that you want to keep in mind is that Lightning Storm is good in a lot of decks. Drawn Lockbird is an all-star hand trap for all decks in this format. So is Max C. So is Infinite Impermanence. These are all core cards that you're going to take across to multiple competitive decks. So they're a very good investment for your crystals and making sure your economy is being managed correctly. Because you actually do have to manage uh, your economy quite well in this game. It's not so easy to come by gems. Uh, there, the pinch kind of happens as soon as you finish the tutorials. You get a chance to build one competitive deck and then very quickly you find that you are unable to have all the resources that you need for your second deck. So what you essentially can take from all of this is craft these and then open the secret, correct secret pack for uh, the rest of the deck. So what you do, for example, is you just craft 30 gems for uh, Agnes or Infant, and then that will unlock the secret pack. You'll get one free pool for good measure, and then a focus on AI Omni Science. You want to try and pick up the filled spells from that set. You want to get free I Met Use. These are non negotiables for the deck. While you're searching for those, you will get all of the colors that you need. And then once you've got that, switch over to Soldiers of the Storm, which is then going to let you get your, uh, your code talkers essentially that's where the direction you want to go in and then what's left you use the gems to craft so if you're a brand new player go ahead and complete the single player tutorial you'll get about i can't remember how many crystals i think it's close to about nine thousand crystals you'll get when you've completed everything and then you do a bunch of your dailies and stuff like that the first time missions all the rewards that's going to give you about 100 booster packs to open in order to craft this deck that should be more than enough and then once you've acquired this deck you can take it all the way up to platinum one and even if you want to compete in tournaments and stuff organized by the community you've got a very very strong deck to do so um, i this has been the my favorite deck this format uh you could consider building things like elpitches or 
true Draco if you're looking for a much lower budget. But all of those decks feel considerably weaker to what this is doing. This feels... Everybody seems to have the belief that the Tri-Brigade deck is the best deck in the format. And I would argue that this actually is better than the Tri-Brigade deck. Tri-Brigade Zodiac is the deck that you farm. So this is a really good place for you to be if you are struggling with that matchup. The Lyralist deck is a little bit of a challenge to, to beat because of the field setup that they do. But this is where I would be if I was starting a new player. And I wanted to build a deck competitive and I wanted to go all the way from zero to hero. What I would recommend if you guys are not necessarily sold by the deck and you think I'm just showing you the highlight reels of everything, create a new account on uh, for a new account for a dual ma master duel. Then go ahead, complete the tutorial, get all the gems, and then craft this deck on a fresh account and try it out for yourselves. Then you can play at zero risk, and then once you start seeing the success, maybe consider moving it over to your main account. But this is a very achievable deck in free to play, and it's going to carry you long term across multiple competitive decks. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for the Adagnister feature. I hope you've gotten a lot out of this. If you followed it all the way through all three of the videos, I think we're coming up to over two hours worth of content. Uh, it's been greatly appreciated to have your time and I really hope that you manage to join in for the climb every other week on Sundays at 6.30 GMT, uh, where me and Dan will go over our replays and we'll talk about bits of what's going on in Master Duel and what kind of decks we're competing with. So guys, I'm going to check it out from there, but please look forward to more content. Go ahead and like, comment and subscribe. Let me know exactly what you think in the comments below. And I look forward to creating more content for you guys to enjoy in the near future. So take it easy and I'll catch you all soon.